Pete, first off, I mean, this project, we're going to get into all that it takes. Um, but what is it when you first hear, guess what? We're going to redo the entire field at FedEx Field. What goes through your mind? First was uh, happiness and joy and relief. And then, <laughs> you know, once the wheels get started going with the contractors and it, the project gets a little overwhelming at certain times and you go, boy, we're actually going to do this and we got to do it right one time. And so it's a... Uh, Right now it's a little bit calmer, but when we first started off, it was a little panic. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, and the difference of what we're doing now to this field compared to some of the renovations we've done in the past, what is that? Yeah, so past we've just been stripping off about two inches and replacing the sod and putting in a game field that we could play on. Now we're, we've taken it a step further. We're taking out 14 inches of subsoil uh, back down to the heat lines. And then we're going to rebuild it up with drainage system, new irrigation system, brand new USGA spec sand. And then we're going to put game on grass uh, sod that's grown in Charlotte, North Carolina, especially for us, uh, and install that sometime mid-July. How much of a difference will it make at the end of the day? It's going to make a huge difference. It's going to make a huge difference to our players, our coaching staff, and the fans. Uh, players are going to feel more confident out here playing, running around. Uh, coaches are going to understand what they're expecting what they're coming into every day because it's going to be the same, it's going to be consistent and our fans are going to notice that the quality of play is up there and the quality of feel is right there with, along with our team. I mean people get fascinated by this um, and, and you know a lot of people spend a lot of time talking about the field, the turf and, and there were some criticisms of course for this so we are fixing it up but what actually went into the decision that this was the time now, this is the year we're going to do this? Yeah, so between myself and Chris Bloyer, we did a, a lot of testing this offseason. Uh, we did a perk test, we did a soil analysis, we did a particle size test, and we got the results from that, and we really went with the data that we got back from that, and we're able to um, argue the fact that we needed a new subsurface. <laughs> I'm sure if you go to Coach Rivera and you say, hey, Coach, we need a new, I, I'm sure it didn't take much convincing for him to say, let's get this going. No, but, no, yeah. he was a big advocate for right. us. Uh, it, here and at the park, uh, he was a huge voice for the grounds crew and the, field, the fields themselves. So he's been in our corner the entire step of the way. So you get the project going. Um, I can tell already that this is something that needs to be done in phases. Like how many different phases? What is the timeline for getting it done? Sure, so we started um, May 18th, uh, and that was phase one was removing half the field to 14 inches, removing the old irrigation system, uh, and then phase two is refilling that first half that we did with the correct drainage, the correct irrigation layout, correct heads, uh, and then we'll work our way back and repeat the steps, so there's kind of four phases in taking the field out, and then one big phase last phase will be the sod process. So what kind of are all the different materials? Because you can say sod, but I'm sure there's different kinds. Yeah, there's different kinds. What, yeah. what are the actual materials going into this? So we have, uh, it's called a Cambridge irrigation, or Cambridge drainage system, excuse me. Uh, and it's a series of inch and a quarter inch uh, corrugated pipes that run every seven feet off center. So every three and a half feet, you go to the left, three and a half feet, you go to the right, you'll find a drainage line. Uh, and then we'll fill it in with USGA spec sand that was tested up at uh, with Andy McNitt up in Pennsylvania. Uh, that will be backfilled in, and then we put a game on grass, which is two and a half, two inch thick sod uh, of Northbridge Bermuda grass that's grown on plastic. So there's no undercut; it's all side cut. Help me understand a sure. little bit, because I can see a lot's going on. And 13 inches of sand seems like a lot to begin with. But how yeah. much is all of this? So it's uh, roughly 2,000 tons of sand coming in and a little bit more than 2,000 tons of sand coming out. Um, and what's the difference in the sands? Uh, the particle size. Yeah, okay. It's, it's strictly particle size. So our sand that we currently have or used to have was a very fine sand and it just broke down over time between our resods and our blackovations and, and all our maintenance to it. So the sand starts to break down. It becomes more finer, more powdier. It doesn't allow the water to perk down. This is a little bit more coarse and it bridge over our gaps in our corrugated drainage system nice and smoothly so the water can go down into the pipe without getting blocked before it gets to the pipe. And how many tons did you say? 2,000 tons. What would, that, what would that equate to? It's over 500 truckloads of sand. <laughs> That's a lot of truckloads of sand coming in here for this. Um, all right, you're, you're doing this. What is, like the, you mentioned the time frame and everything. What about the partners, the staff? How much manpower is going into this as well? Yeah, so in-house we have um, four staff members, five including myself, that are monitoring the project. by also taking care of the landscape outside. 
Carolina Green is uh, right now currently working on a four to five man staff, seven, uh, five days a week between six and seven o'clock p.m. And then when we go to sodding, we'll go up to 22, 25 people from Carolina Green and then our additional five. When you go through all of this, you mentioned how you came in, you're excited, then it got a little bit crazy, but what is it that excites you the most just about this project? One, for our players. I'm excited for my, our players to play on a field that they know is perfect every time they come out here. And I'm excited for my crew and myself not to have to be up at, you know, two o'clock in the morning, race into the stadium to turn off irrigation systems because we're playing on waterings. We haven't, ra it hasn't rained out here in weeks, but then as soon as you get a rain, you're worried. Even if it's a half inch of rain, we were always worried. Or in tarping the field, non-game week during the week, which puts a lot of stress on the grass itself. So it'll be better maintenance for the yes. sport. Awesome, Tremendous excited night. for it. And the fans are excited for it as People get geeked about the fields. Yes, they, they have their opinions. <laughs> <laughs> this should be a popular one though. I hope so. <laughs> All right, thank you, Pete. Thank you.